Using the films Blood Simple and the classic noir film Double Indemnity, this character, the femme fatale, Phyllis Diedrichson, is compared to Abby in Blood Simple. Phyllis Diedrichson, played by Barbara Stenwick, is the Webster's Dictionary definition of the femme fatale. She is a seductive woman who lures men into dangerous or compromising situations, a woman who attracts men by an aura of charm and mystery. Here she is revealing herself in a towel the first time Walter Neff, played by Fred McMurray on the left, meets her. He is instantly captivated, wanting to help her get away from her husband. No, you hate him. Yes, Walter. He's so mean to me. Every time I buy a dress or a pair of shoes, he yells his head off. He never lets me go anywhere. He keeps me shut up. He's always been mean to me. Even his life insurance all goes to that daughter of his, that Lola. Nothing for you at all, huh? No, and nothing is just what I'm worth to him. So you lie awake in the dark and listen to him snore and get ideas? Walter, I don't want to kill him. I never did. Not even when he gets drunk and slaps my face. Only sometimes you wish he was dead. Perhaps I do. And you wish it was an accident. And you had that policy for $50,000. Is that it? Perhaps that, too. The other night we drove home from a party. He was drunk again. When we drove into the garage, he just sat there with his head on the steering wheel and the motor still running. And I thought what it would be like if I didn't switch it off. Just closed the garage doors and left him there. I'll tell you what it would be like if you had that accident policy and tried to pull a monoxide job. We've got a guy in our office named Keyes. For him, a setup like that would be just like a slice of rare roast beef. In three minutes, you'd know it wasn't an accident. In ten minutes, you'd be sitting under the hot lights. In a half hour, you'd be signing your name to a confession. But, Walter, I didn't do it, and I'm not going to do it. Not if there's an insurance company in the picture, baby. They know more tricks than a carload of monkeys. And if there's a death mixed up in it, you haven't got a prayer. They'll hang you just as sure as ten dimes will buy a dollar. And I don't want you to hang, baby. Abby, in this neo-noir film, is seen as plain and strong, contrasting the overwhelming beauty of Phyllis Dietrichson. She has an affair with her husband's employee, Ray. Her husband, Marty, exhibits strong anger against the affair. I don't like this kind of talk. What'd you come here for? You owe me for two weeks. No. She's an expensive piece of ass. Or you get a refund if you tell me who else she's been sluicing. I want that money. You got something to tell me, fine. What are you, a fucking marriage counselor? What are you smiling at? I'm funny, right? I'm an asshole? No, 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 no. That's not what's funny. What's funny is her. What's funny is that I had you two following. Because if it's not you she's sleeping with, it's someone else. And what's really gonna be funny is when she gives you that innocent look and says, I don't know what you're talking about, Ray. I ain't done anything funny. But the funniest thing to me right now is that you think that she came back here for you. That's what's fucking funny. Come on this property again, I'll be forced to shoot you. Marty employs Lauren Visor to kill them. He does not kill them and instead attempts to kill Ray. Ray thinks Abby is involved because he finds her gun at the scene. So he tries to finish the job he thinks she failed to do and kills Marty himself. Abby did not manipulate Ray in any way to kill Marty, as opposed to Phyllis Diedrichson's manipulation to get Walter Neff to kill her husband. Abby is ultimately innocent in every aspect except for the fact that she commits adultery, but it is suggested in the film that Marty commits adultery against her as well. Visor kills Ray to Abby's shot, but she thinks Marty did it.
Abby must fend for herself against the suspected Marty, who is actually Visor, and shoots him. She escapes the tragic fate of the femme fatale despite her adultery and quote-unquote love triangle and survives. You, Marty. Thinking she shot Marty, she declares her strength and independence from him. <laughs> well, man, if I see him, I'll sure give him a message. Even though she did not kill Marty, Abby's survival away from the male characters scheming and killing helps her maintain her innocence as she acted in self-defense. Her innocence separates her from the typical femme fatale in this neo-noir film. <laughs> 